Hi and welcome back to the channel. Now, I don't usually get into my beehives after work. It's late in the day, a lot of bees are home. But I came out today to check on the bees when I got home and there are thousands of dead bees in front of this hive. And the bees that are on the landing board are all shaking and walking around. I think they may have gotten into some poison somewhere. I think I, I, it's all I can figure there. I mean, there's a bunch of dead bees. It's too early in the season for robbing, so I don't think it's a robbing situation. And I don't see any battles going on on the landing board, but there's a ton, I mean thousands of dead bees down there. So I'm going to show you and then I'm going to get my smoker, my veil on, we're going to get in this hive and take a quick look around. Okay, I want to apologize in advance for the camera work. I'm only running one camera out here. I don't know what's going on inside this hive. But by the number of dead bees on the front, it can't be good. You know, the last thing I wanted to do today was, was go through a beehive. It's 90 degrees out here. Actually, it's like 94 and humid. These bees are shaking in here but they're still drawing wax up here. They're still drawing wax. Let's just have a look at a couple of these frames. Excuse me, girls, coming in. Okay, they're just drawing these out and filling these with, with honey. So they're working. The girls in here look okay. They're filling this with honey. This one looks fine too. However, they are making some cattywampus comb on this one, but for some reason, that is not unusual for this year. Oh, they've got a whole bunch of cattywampus comb in here. But, it still looks good. Minus this comb. I don't know what these bees are doing here. Getting artistic on me, I guess. All right. Okay, so this box is box is well on its way to being full, but there's all kinds of weird comb down here. I wish they weren't doing that. They're building crazy comb everywhere. But it looks okay. Minus the crazy comb. Let me get that off of there. Right, more crazy comb and they're storing more honey. This, this looks normal. I don't understand why all the carnage is in front of the hive. It just doesn't make sense. Right. Well, outside of the cattywampus comb, which there is a lot of it, this hive looks good. All right, all right. So this, okay, there's a bee right there that is stressing out. That bee is doing what the other bees were doing. It's shaking really, really badly. Just sitting there, he's shaking. I don't understand what's going on. I think they got into something. I really do. I think they got into some 
some nectar that had some pesticide on it or something. All right, well, I'm going to put this together. I'm going down a level. I really wish I had my long sleeve shirt on. I don't like doing this in short sleeves. Especially if there's a hive that's in distress. Let's go down a level and take a look. This hive looks very, very healthy on the inside. But what is with all the carnage outside and the shaking bees? Okay, well, this box is completely full of honey. I mean, this box is, I think this box is done. I think it's finished. Holy moly. Yeah, that's full. They're capping the middle now. I'm not going to tear it apart any further. This hive looks healthy. I don't know what's going on on the outside. I mean, I really, I just don't know. Okay, I'm not going to go any further because this all looks good. And it's 6 o'clock in the evening, so chances are there's a lot of bees in here. And I'm not dressed for this. But they look fine. And there's a couple of bees shaking around, and I've, I've seen them do that when they're dancing and showing where the, the really good nectar source is. But that doesn't explain that on the ground. Okay, there you go, girls. Oh, I know why they're building the cattywampus comb. Because they have a lot of space because of this uh, upper entrance. Let me move that. Here you go, girls. Build your comb the right way. Please. Give them another box because we're in the middle of a giant flow. I would like to get some honey this year. I don't, don't know how much I'm going to get because a lot of my hives have problems as we saw last week, and as we will see next week. I'm going to get out of there. I want you trapped. All right, well, there you go. We've resolved nothing. I don't know what's going on in front of the hive. I don't know why I have thousands of dead and dying bees. All I know is that this hive is packed with bees. Everything above the queen excluder, I've got a full box of honey, a full box of honey, a partially drawn and being filled box of honey. The bees in there looked healthy. The boxes were full of bees. They were all working. Some of the bees were shaking and I don't know what that was all about. I've seen them do the waggle dance where they shake and are excited about a, a honey or a nectar source somewhere and they're telling the other bees but maybe maybe that's what's going on and those girls got so excited they had a heart attack and fell out dead in front of the hive. I don't know. The only thing I can think of at this point is, is pesticide. Maybe they got into some pesticide but let me tell you, that's an awful lot of bees. It's an awful lot of bees. I don't know. We'll know when we do a deep, deep dive in this, uh, in this hive next week. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment and let me know if you've ever run into this before where you've just had a mass die off and you don't know why, and the hive still looks good. I don't know. But if you have the answer to that, leave me a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. All the input is welcome. And uh, by all means, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Take a moment to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of the new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. And as always, I want you to be happy. Even if something like this happens to you, be happy. I'm happy. They're not happy. I'm hot. I'm sure they're hot too. I'll see you next time. You have a great day. Take care.